Hello, I am Asenati, a cloud engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to explain the IP addresses that are assigned to your Amazon Relational Database Service instances and then show you how to find them. Let's get started. When Amazon RDS creates a database instance in a virtual private cloud, a network interface is assigned to your database instance using an IP address from your subnet group. Two types of IP addresses can be assigned, either private or public. With private addresses, when you launch a database instance inside Amazon VPC, the database instance is a private address for traffic inside the VPC. This IP is not accessible from the internet. It is used for connecting to the instance from resources inside the same VPC. By default, every RDS instance has a private IP address from the range defined in your DB subnet group. With public IP addresses, a public IP is accessible from the internet and used for connecting to the instance from outside the VPC or internet. A public IP is assigned only when you select the publicly accessible setting for the instance. Now follow along as we see how to find the IP addresses using the RDS console. Open the Amazon RDS console in the navigation pane, choose databases. Select your database instance. Under the connectivity and security tab, you'll see the endpoint information. This endpoint automatically resolves to the private IP when connecting from the same VPC and the public IP when connecting from outside the VPC, provided the instance was configured as publicly accessible. You can copy the host name and we will be using this to find the IP address when running the commands below. We will begin by connecting to the server, which is the Amazon EC2 instance that you see under the connected computer resources in order to run the commands. Select the instance and choose connect. After connecting to the instance, run the nslookup command for the host name that is copied. Alternatively, you can run the dig command using the same host name. The output shows the private IP when run from an EC2 instance in the same VPC and the public IP when run from a different VPC or a public network, provided the instance is configured as publicly accessible. Now, let's look at some common scenarios. If you selected publicly accessible, but there is no public IP assigned, then it's likely that the DB subnet has only private subnets. To remedy this, make sure your VPC has an internet gateway attached. The route tables have routes to the internet gateway for the public subnets, and your DB subnet group includes at least one public subnet. The IP addresses are dynamic and can change when the instance is stopped and then started during failover, host replacement, maintenance, version upgrades, or for other reasons. So it's best practice to always use the endpoint to connect. And now you understand the IP addresses that are assigned to your Amazon Relational Database Service instances and how to find them. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.